We're out here for the first time in nine weeks since I broke my ankle sailing. Whoa! Now, Carmen, everyone, how good's that wind at the moment? They're coming for us! Oh my god! It's fun having a little fleet around you. my leg in between the boats. Oh my god. Yeah. This is slim. Three knots on the face, skipper. I'm so the skipper. Oh, and we have a fluffy crew member too, Chili. We live aboard our 1989 Duncanson 34. She may be vintage, but her glory days are far from over. We're taking her around Australia, exploring our beautiful Aussie backyard. We put new videos out every Monday, so subscribe. Come along with us. So I can listen back again. Yeah. Shut her on wherever you want. Champion. How you feeling, so? Yeah. I guess it's for the best, you know, the worst. In See you guys. I'm no good. Ah! <laughs> it's quite choppy. <laughs> I'm quite windy. I think we're going to have a good sail today. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> but we're good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My actions, they haunt me. And I'll never live it down. We're out here for the first time in nine weeks since I broke my ankle sailing. Whoa! Crazy stuff. <laughs> I'm so frothing. I can't even contain the froth. Plan of attack for today is heading to Platypus Bay. Not exactly sure of the destination. With Thumber Creek. Potentially, don't know, we're gonna probably work it out as we get a bit closer. Uh, the wind southerly at the moment, swinging southeast in the afternoon and dropping off. Got a little bit of wind now, but I think, I don't know how long we're gonna have it for. It might drop off. We're just doing a little jive, cut across a little bit of a sandbank. So obviously I'm not going up forward. My boot on the decks is pretty hard to walk with because um, the decks are slightly on a curve or angle and my boot is rounded. So I'm staying in the cockpit. Simon's gonna be my deck man. We just set up the preventer because I think we're just gonna be on this tack for today. This is only a matter. You can only get better. You can only get better. What are you doing? I've got a lecture and in three minutes. This is only a matter. You can only get better. You can only get better. Just trying to tee up with Sage on Pearl. He sent us a pin, so it looks like we're going to jump in a little channel and then we'll cruise right past him and then we'll pick him up in our little convoy. Miles is out here, but he's in front of us and we don't want to talk about it. So we're super excited because we have company. We have young company. Hey. We're sort of taking a cheeky shortcut through a shallow bank. Navionics is sort of putting us off a little bit, so but we can see the banks pretty clearly, so we're going off site. But Simon's up on the bow, spotting sandbanks. Out here, and I reckon we're pretty good, and then I can see where it gets deeper again. Okay. It can only get better. And this is that wind has just dropped off for us. We've just turned the engine back on, and we're gonna try and play catch up to these guys up here. How good's our house? <laughs> pretty good. This and half of what this world looks like. See that only Where you will have it. 
And have it they did, so have it they did, didn't they? That's bloody out of brilliant. This is all the amazing. Now, Carpenter, everyone, how good's that wind at the moment? It's just slowly getting better and better. Over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, apparently, there's a couple of whales up ahead where all those other boats are just lurking around. Whenever there's a whale watching boat, you know that there's a whale. Not intentionally, we're heading exactly for them. Actually, I just saw it. Oh, yep, yep. I know! The whales are just right there between that catamaran and then that blue um, whale watching boat, I guess. Oh, you can see him blowing out. A bit of wind had come through, so we used the head sail to reach the whales. As soon as we could sense they were near, we furled in the heady, which slowed us right down to a bob, giving the whales a chance to come suss us out. No way! We have heard so many stories of these close encounters, but personally, we've never experienced whales like this before. <laughs> no way! I can see it. It's just, it's under us. The whale's literally underneath our boat. I'm, I'm, it's tails just there. Oh my god. Holy. Oh, that's good. was hands down the best whale encounter we've ever had. I wasn't expecting to have such a beautiful encounter today. They literally, the back tail, centimeters from the hull. That was insane. They came, there were literally right two massive ones. Whoa, what, what an experience, that was insane. to the triangle cliffs now. It took us a while to find which ones were actually the triangle cliffs, but we have now laid eyes on the correct triangle cliffs. It's fun having a little, a little fleet around you. We've been on the radio all day. It's been fun. It's quite pretty. We haven't done it in a while. It wouldn't be Slim and Soap without something breaking. On this week's episode, it's the windlass. After months without use, the windlass has ceased. Not only that, but the bringer up a button is not working too. For now, Slim's pulled the chain we need onto deck and have dropped it that way. And after fiddling with some wires, he's also managed to get the button working too. And for the seas part, I don't know, we're still figuring that one out. This side or the other side? You tell us, Skipper. First mate, I mean. <laughs> Coming up. Coming in hot. A few checks, like, is Alicia looking at this? By now you know Miles, but you may be asking who these other two scallywags are. This is Sage and Alicia, some friends from our home port in Brunswick Heads. These guys come here every year for whale season. Sage has a YouTube channel himself, documenting his adventures aboard his catamaran he bought for a dollar. We'll be sure to leave a link in the description below for you. We're settling down for a few sundowners and making plans for tomorrow.
ないですけどね。<笑><笑>
Oh, that was so fun. Yeah. What would you do different this time, Slam? Next time round, I would definitely try not to funnel the sand with my hands into my eyes. I was like, no! Is she going to close up? There's a lot of sand on that face. He's been crap! How we lay in the sunset? Why can't you do it? The body sings, and I join the tune. All the silence falling, those leave their trees, but a peace pervades us, and the dreamers dream of every element. <laughs> How was that, dude? To be honest, it was quite sandy. How does it feel to be crumbed smiles? <laughs> I mean, I've always enjoyed eating crumbed food, but being crumbed myself, not so nice. Were you gluten free, crumb? Yeah, it was oh, actually. Yeah, yeah, it looked it. It was mainly rock. At least it doesn't have gluten in it. And it's yeah. genetically modified. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to join us next week as the adventure continues. We're not done with Fraser just yet, and the wind has other plans for us, so we make a trip across the pond. We'll see you then.